welcome to the alternatives session for the batter up paper pumpkin kit which is the may 2021 paper pumpkin kit by stampin up i have 14 alternatives for you today they're all a2 there are no fun folds in this so if you're looking for fun folds i apologize not this time uh, let me just quickly show you this is the original kit and it would make three of each of these cards which I did in my initial unboxing video um, but I have 14 more so all together I have 17 cards and stay tuned to the end um, because something might happen at the end so I of course still have the stamp set the largest scrap I have is this piece of envelope and here's all the rest of them which are going to go in the, in the recycle bin and then um, I do have a few dimensionals. I was using the dimensionals and some, I have quite a few of these little labels. I still have um, six of those. I did use glue dots a couple times. I think I've switched to my own. I still have a few of these red and yellow enamel dots. And I have just a little bit of this white twine left, uh, which I kind of wish I had used up, but soon I'll use that before I use my my other white twine so and unfortunately I just emptied my trash and I don't have a new bag in there yes I can't put them in okay so let's show you what I made and what I used I did bring in other items um, let me just actually really quickly tell you that you're going to be seeing uh, card stocks in real red soft suede Pacific point and smoky slate and and also white um, I think on two cards I used this uh, True Love Designer Series paper from the January to June mini catalog. On a few cards I used some of the papers in Well Suited Designer Series paper. And in the last card I was down to very little left in the kit. I used actually this piece of paper from the in good taste which carried over from last year's annual to this one all right so let me show you the cards one by one um actually i'll show you these two together i made two pocket cards because i there were only three of these bases and um they used it like that i put um i don't know if i can show you where that red piece is okay this piece here is that red strip that was in the kit but i cut it in half and i used another part of it somewhere else i don't, I don't remember exactly where <laughs> and on this one um, this is a piece of the inside of the envelope flap and i think i have uh, no i don't i don't this see this is the envelope flap so that is a little strip from a leftover envelope flap and then this is the tag punch and that was another little piece of the envelope flap so i did make it a sort of a father's day card this is from the well suited this is from the true love so this says dad and you're the best is stamped a memento tuxedo black and ever and then this is one of the stamps the hat and i just stamped it in smoky slate fussy cut it out and bumped it up on dimensionals on this one, I used the um, basic rhinestone jewels, uh, five of them. On this one here, um, I used the red dots that came in the kit, stamped in real red, and did the tag punch again. And let's see, inside, that one is blank. This one is also blank, and I just have it on Pacific Point. And I believe this was the, I can't remember if that was the back of one of the um, card bases. I'm pretty sure. Uh, hmm. I can't remember. I can't remember. Sorry. Some of them are the backs of card bases and some may be whisper white. Then the next one uh, also used well suited paper. And this was one of the cards and I cut it um, in half like this. So I had two pieces and I don't remember where I used the other one, but somewhere. <laughs> and then All Star was one of the stamps. I stamped it in Pacific Point 
These are two of the wood baseball bats turned upside down and I just went around them with um, smoky slate um, a little bit so they'd pop off here a bit. Sorry. Um, and I wrapped the white twine just around this piece and then this piece here is bumped up as is this. And then inside another strip of that paper on Pacific Point and the congratulations for that one was out of um, a different paper pumpkin kit I believe. Pretty sure. Like last month's paper pumpkin kit or something. Okay. Uh, this one I stamped you're the best. This is a die from the, the Hippo and Friends. Um, I think I put them away. Yeah, it's one of these dies. This is out of Hippo and Friends, and they carried over. And I think it was the the second from the outside on that one. This is another piece of the envelope uh, left over from um, Pacific Point cardstock. And these were left over also from a prior paper pumpkin. I just have a few more. They're black sequins. And of course the twine is just kind of messily put under there. And this is from, well, um, True Love. And in here I just had scraps of the True Love. And You Truly Inspire Me. That is out of the beauty of friendship. So I said, you're the best. You truly inspire me. Um, so yeah, that's where that came from. And since that envelope matches, I figured I'd put an envelope with that. <laughs> so, okay, the next one I use a card front and one of the baseballs that were left. And uh, I don't think it was the last bat, but I think it was um, one of the last two maybe. I, I can't remember that either. Here I stamped in Smoky Slate on Pacific Point and Fussy Cut the Hat. And I did stamp Dad in the Smoky Slate. So just that. And then these are red rhinestones by Stampin' Up. This is on Smoky Slate cardstock. And here, <laughs> this is the part that goes from the front to the back. Um, what I did is actually stamped this on a piece of envelope, you know, because I was cutting up envelope for this. So I had a piece. So I stamped this, You're the Greatest of All Time, on an envelope piece. And then this was a border piece from here. And I just cut it down to match the size. And that's what I did on that one. And I do have an envelope with that. I don't know if I'll put it with that one or one of the other ones. The ones that don't have envelopes, I still have to put envelopes with. Okay, here's the other half of this one, this blue and white. But here I used the wood grain card front, cut it apart, you know, cut the card apart, layered this, glued this down, bumped this up, and my little bow came undone. I had to get a longer piece. Um, yeah, let's just do that. Um, this is from the Playful Pets Combo Pack, but it carried over. Uh, so I just did a fake bow on that. But I think it came undone because it was too short. <laughs> there, we'll just do that. And I'll fix that up later. Alright, let's turn it this way. We can, there we go. Well, I'm going to tuck on under. I'll deal with that later. But anyway, you get the idea. That's where I got that from because I thought that is in real red and it went with it. So there you have it. Maybe I can twist it this way. I may have to stick them down with glue dots. I don't know. Anyway, and then I did put, um, this is bumped up and so is the baseball. And then inside um, another piece off of that put up at the top and then that congratulations is from a grand kid a grand kid right there and I stamped that in real red I think that came out pretty nice and to try and use up those um, red and yellow things um, this was another piece out of the kit 
Um, I did use, oh goodness me, I, I think that might be a piece of Whisper White. I ran it through the Tasteful Textile embossing folder, put this piece down, wrapped navy twine around that was from the um, Handsomely Suited, Well Suited, Well Suited Twine Combo Pack, which is retiring at the end of June. That's from the mini catalog, January to June mini. Wrap that around to bring out the navy in the baseball bat and uh, baseball player. And then just put a few um, of the gems on. This one is bumped up again. And you're the best. So you're in a league of your own. You're the best. And then that could be for anybody because it doesn't say dad, mom, whatever. But speaking of mom, I use the... I want to make sure I'm telling you the names of these right. The Well Suited Designer Series Paper again. But this time I used this piece that had the flowers on. Here was a leftover bit from that one card that had the um, pieces I showed you. These pieces here. Right. And then this was an, another piece of envelope. And actually, I layered that on a piece of envelope. This piece of envelope, I think. Um, so I didn't waste the envelope at all. Bumped up All Star. Stamped this in Pacific Point. This is Knight of Navy. This is Pacific Point. And then I had a tiny little sliver of the designer paper left. And You're the Best is stamped in Knight of Navy on that one. But I think... I can't remember if that is the back of a, um, a card or whisper or white. It would be whisper white for me because I'm, I'm almost getting to the point where I can use basic white now. <laughs> anyway, that's that one. The next one, I went <laughs> away from what was in the kit except for this stamp and this piece of wood grain paper. I ran, um, this is a piece of Whisper White. I ran it through the uh, Bark embossing folder. I took the finger dauber with soft suede and went all around the edges. And then I had this strip of wood grain. I can't remember what that was left over from. I guess from this piece. Although that doesn't sound right. Hmm. Hmm. Things that make you go home. Anyway. And then these are out of the Hippo and Friends dot, uh, no they're not, no they're not, are they? Mm. Yes, they're these. So I used the largest in soft suede and the second one to stamp the you're the greatest of all time in soft suede. And then I just used the gold, the metallic pearls and the gold color, I used five of those. And on the inside, just a tiny strip left of that wood grain. And again, went around the edges of a piece of white cardstock um, and left it blank. And then the next one, I don't know what number we're on. We're getting to the bottom. Here's another piece of the card cut up. Now on this one, this is a Whisper White card base or a car white card base. Thick, thick uh, card base. This is Pacific Point and then I did Pacific Point. I took the bat baseball bat and I just went all over in different directions with the baseball bat uh, to make a background paper. This was that other little piece of half of one of those red strips. I think I showed that early on on and on in here. Here's the other half and um, I just I wrapped the twine around the Pacific Point part bump this whole thing up on dimensionals but these are all glued down and I just put all star and then inside I had a strip of Pacific Point left so I stamped one more baseball bat in Pacific Point on there and I also on this one went around the edges of the white that's in here which is a card back because it's a slightly different color it might be I don't know which card back it's to anyway I went all around the edges with the brush tip 
before I put it down of the Pacific Point Stampin' Right marker just to make it pop off the other white. You wouldn't have, you wouldn't have to put anything on this thick whisper white, but I had it to use and it, yeah, I just did. So anyway, these, that card and this card I was using making background. So I used Bumblebee in real red on this one um, to do the hats. And I put it on real red cardstock. This one is a, a top opening. And this was one of the pieces from the kit, but I backed it on Bumblebee. And then I had an extra strip of Bumblebee. So um, I just flagged it and stamped All Star on it. And then I used one of the little labels to sort of make it like, you know, if you were hanging a pendant, but I had it going sideways. I just put it across there. I thought that kind of made it pop a little more since I do have white in the background. I don't know. And then I just put some of the yellow um, gems from the kit on. And inside is just a white piece, which I think might be another card back. I'm not sure. I don't I think I'm getting these confused. This one probably needs to go with this because it's blue. Yeah, there we go. And then here we have another piece of one of those, I guess. There were two of these cards left and I think I cut both of them into rectangles like this. And then this was the um, sort of wood grain looking piece. The last red strip, a little strip of bumblebee I had, a little square from an envelope, and um, stamped the hat in Pacific Point, fussy cut it. Here's the last baseball bat, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, and then this to an amazing grandson was also out of a grand kid and on the inside happy birthday is out of a grand kid and I stamped that in Pacific Point and I think that's on Whisper Away but I, I'm not sure and then this die is from the larger circle from tasteful label dies right there and I, I really like how that came out and then some of the dots from the kit and then two more uh, this is one of the card bases or card yeah card bases that I cut to five and a quarter by four I backed it on a piece of smoky slate five and three eighths by four and one eighth and then I put that all on real red and then these this is from the circle celebration I stamped this and I cut it with a layering circle just slightly smaller than the edge because the next bigger one there would have been white showing and I didn't want that. And then I used um, Stellar Birthday to stamp There's No One Like You in the Whole Universe and Have a Stellar Birthday and the stars are from Have a Stellar Birthday. And this by the way, this was the edge of the card where it folds so I just left that piece on and cut it down over here and, and cut it here to fit and I stamped to have a stellar birthday on the inside in um, smoky slate and then I did stamp some of the stars up here also in bumblebee I put a little bit of this um, hmm. This is from last year's holiday catalog that carried over metallic mesh ribbon in silver. And behind there, um, just behind this top piece, and then I bumped this up and put three of the yellow enamel dots. So I, I kind of like how that came out. So that's that one. And then last card is this because all I had left other than what I showed you was this piece of wood grain and this piece of wood grain. So this is on Whisper White card base with um, soft suede backing, five and three eighths by four and one eighths. And then this piece is cut to um, five and a quarter by four. And then whatever this size was that I had left, <laughs> it's about it's about an inch and a quarter, I think, by four. And then these are layering circles. And that hello is from Garden Bird Houses, right there. 
So I stamped hello in soft suede and did the um, scallop circle from the layering circles and then I did put use the twine here to make just a tiny little bow down here underneath which is coming I have to fix it a little bit I think too anyway so that's all I did on that one I didn't do any layering inside it is on thick whisper white so 14 alternatives and um, I was kind of getting tired of baseball stuff by the time <laughs> I got to some of these so yeah this one's really good for like a Memorial Day or something because it's red white and blue for here in the States anyway and there we have our uh, soft suede ones so this I, I thought I would have trouble with it but I didn't although some of my cards are very similar like I used the same kind of layering on a few like the two rectangles and then a, then like a long one with a skinnier rectangle this this pattern gives me the most trouble okay, yeah I mean I think I did okay but um, and this is different so I'm glad that happened but and then this is a similar pattern that I did here to this one. Oh my goodness sorry about my phone the neighbors are this one's similar to this one. Oh, these I told you about the baseball bats yes I did and the two pockets so those are my 14 oops it helps if I put them right side up <laughs> can't even get them on the, sh the screenshot um yeah hope you enjoyed it and um, if you have any questions please don't hesitate to put them down in the comments also I'm gonna give these all away to one winner whether you're lucky or not I don't know but if you would like a chance at winning all of these plus the first three that are as intended um, leave me a comment about uh, what your plans are for the summer not just Memorial Day this time for the whole summer if you have any special vacations planned I never do so I'm looking forward to hearing about all of yours <laughs> thanks again guys I appreciate it don't forget subscribe if you're not already if you liked anything in here please give me a thumbs up oh and I'll do the drawing for these to one lucky winner on Memorial Day so 14 17 cards someone can have because uh, I don't really have the baseball people in, in my family but there's a couple that are non non sportsy too so anyway all right guys thank you bye